What worries me the most is that we have two really disturbing patterns at work here. One is pipelines. We have pipelines being put in all across the United States of America. Of course, we stand with Standing Rock against the Dakota Access Pipeline. Dea working with active—or working to report on activists that were doing an action against tar sands pipelines. We have pipelines crisscrossing this entire United States of America because we are in a new regime of fossil fuel development because of fracked oil and fracked gas. The Constitution Pipeline, the Ned Pipeline, the Sable Trail Pipeline, the Millennium Pipeline, the AIM Pipeline, the Algonquin Pipeline expansion. I could go on and on and on. There, are, there is a plan to build 300 new frac gas power plants in America, and that's going to require thousands upon thousands of miles of pipelines. These pipeline battles are going to escalate because no one wants those pipelines through their uh, property. The second part of this is obviously a brutal repression of the media, which you, Amy Goodman, Shailene, right here next to me, and Dea have experienced firsthand. There have been other journalists arrested uh, in North Dakota covering these pipeline actions. I would add, in addition, the uh, two other reporters. Um, that were arrested alongside of Dea, one in Washington State, and our cameraman uh, that I work with frequently, Steve Lipte, was just given charges in the mail in Minnesota. These people are not accessories to the crime. They are, a me they are the media. This is a First Amendment, Amendment constitutionally protected activity, and it is, you know, I mean, it's part of what I, what I worry about is that in the most brutally repressive regimes throughout history, one of the first things that those uh, tyrannical despots do is throw the press in jail. It's to make sure that there is a lockdown on things that they don't want reported. And I think, Amy, it, it speaks very volumes to the work that you've been doing for decades, that it's clear that the mainstream media will not report on Standing Rock, standing, and they will not report on these pipeline battles. It is infuriating, and it is an abdication of duty to watch the Kardashians and other nonsense, which is, which is called news, when we have revolts happening all across the United States of America, not just in Standing Rock, not just in North Dakota, but across but in New York State and in Florida and West Virginia and Seattle and, um, you know, the, the, there is, a, there is a, a very active movement against fossil fuels because people don't want fossil fuels.